Hey guys, if you have been following this series, I am sure Prometheus is up and running on your mission. If it's not, please go ahead and set up Prometheus by referring to the installing Prometheus chapter of this series. In this chapter, we will be scraping our first application. So without any further delay, let's get started. For hands-on experience, let's consider a to-do API that can create simple to-do items and update their status written in Spring Boot. Now, how do we monitor this application? As we discussed in the first chapter of the series, Prometheus pulls the metrics through an endpoint. So, to monitor our to-do application with Prometheus, we should expose the application metrics in a way that can be understood by the Prometheus server over an endpoint. To achieve this, we have to make some code changes to our application. This process of making code changes to our application to expose metrics or custom metrics that can be understood by the Prometheus server is called instrumentation. Once we expose these metrics over an endpoint, all we need to do is configure Prometheus to scrape this endpoint for every n seconds. That's it. Prometheus starts pulling metrics from our application for every n seconds. Let's see this in practice starting with instrumentation. This is our to-do application written in Spring Boot. Please note that Although we are making changes to a Spring Boot application, it's more or less the same process for any language or framework like Django, etc. For Spring Boot, all we need to do is open pom.xml and add the actuator dependency. This dependency provides built-in support for collecting and exposing various application metrics. Once we add this dependency, we should open application properties and configure which metrics endpoint we want to enable. So let's enable all the metrics for this chapter. Now this exposes all our application metrics over slash actuator slash metrics endpoint. Let's run our application with mvn spring iphone boot colon run. Our application started on port 8080 and as you can see slash actuator endpoint is exposed. Let's go to the browser localhost colon 8080 slash actuator slash metrics. As you can see, these are all the metrics. If you want a specific metric value, example system CPU usage, all I need to do is open new tab, localhost colon 8080 slash actuator slash metrics and metric name. These are the details of that specific metric, like the value is zero and the description is the recent CPU usage for the whole system. But these metrics cannot be understood by the Prometheus. Prometheus expects these metrics to be in a specific format. For that, we need to add one more dependency to our application, which is Micrometer Registry Prometheus. This dependency pulls metrics and converts those metrics in a format that can be understood by Prometheus and exposes over slash actuator slash Prometheus endpoint. This is the perfect example of an exporter. We will talk more about Prometheus exporters in later chapters of this series with hands-on. Now let's restart the application and go back to browser and now instead of accessing slash metrics let's access Prometheus. As you can see this is the format that Prometheus can understand. For example this indicates the request count of the slash actuator slash Prometheus endpoint which has value of 1. That means we hit that endpoint one time. Now let's refresh the browser and as you can see this increased to 2. So these are the metrics that these dependencies gives us by default without writing much of the code. Now let us deploy this application to the Minikube. I'm skipping the deployment part of the Spring Boot application as we covered in the Helm video in detail. Please go through that video to know how to deploy this application to our Minikube. All I did is I rebuilt the application with the changes we did and pushed our image to the Docker Hub with the tag Prometheus and I deployed the same application with the Prometheus tag. Let's down the pods, kubectl get pods in the to-do namespace. As you can see, our application is running in the to-do namespace. So let us summarize what we did in this chapter so far. We have instrumented our Spring Boot application to expose our application metrics over an HTTP endpoint with actuated dependency. And then we exposed the same metrics in a way that Prometheus can understand using the micrometer dependency. Then we deployed the same application to the to-do namespace. Now that we have metrics ready, it's time to scrape these metrics with Prometheus. To do that, as we discussed initially, we should add this application as a target in the Prometheus configuration. 
we can find the Prometheus configuration in a config map. Let's list on the config maps. kubectl get config maps in the monitoring namespace because we installed the Prometheus in the monitoring namespace. Enter. As you can see, this is the Prometheus server configuration. So let's edit it. kubectl edit config map name is Prometheus server in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the Prometheus configuration where we give the entire configuration of the Prometheus, like at what interval it has to scrape, etc. So now we should edit this configuration. If you find editing in the terminal difficult, I have a tip for you. You can edit the same Kubernetes manifest files in your favorite editor. For that, all you need to do is open your JSH file or if you are on bash, open your bash file. Code home directory dot jshrc file and add this line save it close it then go back to the terminal and open the new tab to reflect these changes now let's run the same command to edit our config map enter as you can see from now onwards whenever you edit any kubernetes manifest file it will open in your favorite configured code editor i hope you found it helpful if you scroll down a little you found a section called scrape configs and in that we define the jobs a job is nothing but a list of targets to scrape so let's add a new job and just copy pasting in the interest of time and this is the job name that we gave to do iphone api and this is the metrics path on which our metrics are exposed and this is the scrape interval and this is the host of our application so to do iphone api is our kubernetes service name which is in the to do namespace and which is running on the port 8080 and these are the labels that gets attached to our metrics we will discuss about the labels in the later chapters so basically with this configuration we are telling to metrics that hey prometheus could you please scrape my application metrics which are exposed on this endpoint for every three seconds and my application is running on this endpoint now let's save it and close the editor so that the changes will be saved as you can see our config map is edited now let us see if our to-do application is added as a target in prometheus so let's go to the prometheus ui and click on the status and targets and let's scroll down as you can see to do iphone api job is added in that we have a target called slash actuator slash metrics which is running as a to do iphone api service in the to do namespace on the port 8080 that's it now let us verify if prometheus scraped our metrics to check the metrics you should go to graph now let's see the request count of our to do application http server request seconds count as you can see the metrics are scraped this is the metric name and this is the label that we added as part of the Prometheus configuration and these are the default labels that gets attached to the metrics and this is the endpoint that is scraping. Now let's try to port forward our to do API application kubectl port forward to do API service on 8080 in the namespace to do and create a to do item by hitting this slash api slash to do's send it as you can see the to do item is created basically we tried to hit an endpoint of our to do api application to see if it scrapes this metric now let's go back to the prometheus and try to get this metrics again as you can see we can see the metric of slash api slash to do's endpoint which has a value of one let's try to hit the same endpoint again we tried to create another to-do item. Now let's go back to the Prometheus and try to get the metrics again by hitting this execute. As you can see, we tried to hit this endpoint two times. How simple it is. Now let's go back to the Prometheus and try to get the items. So now also we are hitting the slash api slash to-do endpoint, but this time it is get instead of post. So let's try to hit it. So we created the two to-do items previously. That's why we got to here. Now let's go back to the Prometheus and try to run the same. As you can see, we got one more metric which is same slash api slash to do's but this time the method is get previously it was post so we hit the slash api slash to do's with the post http method two times and with the get http method one and as you can see this is the slash actuator slash prometheus endpoint which has been hit 142 times you know why it has hit so many times because prometheus is hitting this endpoint continuously for every three seconds to get our metrics so if we refresh now it will increase more because for every three seconds it is hitting now it is hit 164 times that's it it's that simple to scrape our application metrics 
In the next chapter, let us see how to scrape all our Kubernetes services without touching the Prometheus configuration using service discovery. Needless to say, with complete hands-on. Stay tuned. My name is Pavanil Tepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.